As we begin looking at the Hebraic roots of the Christian faith, we're going to see a lot of things that we probably have never seen before. So often we look at Jesus through our Western eyes and we can't help it. It's the perspective that we have because that's where we live. And we have something called the, the gospel according to Hollywood. And every time we look at Jesus, he's got blonde hair and you know blue eyes and a British accent. And he's so far removed from his original culture, which was a Jewish culture, a Hebraic culture. And he was raised in that. Even his name we say in English is Jesus. But the, the name that his mother gave him was Yeshua meaning salvation. And so what we want to do is we want to go back 2,000 years, go back in time and understand him in his culture, learning that when he said things, he said things with purpose. There was a reason why he said the things that he did. Sometimes he uses analogies or illustrations that we in the West, we don't always understand. But we've got to understand that the people in his time knew exactly what he meant. Let me give you an example. Sometimes Jesus would say things that would garner very little attention. But other times he would say something and the Pharisees would become so upset they would yell at him and want to run him out of the city or the synagogue. And then we read it from our English perspective and it doesn't seem so bad. And we think, what in the world is going on? Why are they getting so mad? You know, once when Jesus was conversing and speaking with the Pharisees and he had a crowd of people around him, which he often did, no, he said, guys, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And he says, no man goes to the Father unless he goes through me. And for us as Christians in the West and outside of the land of Israel, that's become one of the, the staple statements of Christianity. Jesus is the only way. He is the truth and he is the life. And it's beautiful and you might have a nice painting on your wall or your office that has that Bible verse, but what did it really mean? What was he saying to the people at the time? In, in, the, in the first century, we had the temple that stood. But before that, if you go back even another thousand years to the time of Moses or even longer, we had the tabernacle. And it was a, a mobile church kind of, if you will. It was a mobile worship center. After God delivered them from Egypt and they were going through the wilderness, they would set up this tabernacle. And however long God would tell them to stay, they would set it up and they would have sacrifices and they would go through all of the rituals. And then God would say, it's time to move, and they'd go on to the next place. But what we don't know about that, that process is how it was set up. I've had the privilege of being in a life-size replica of this tabernacle in Israel, and it totally blew my mind, because what I learned there, I now want to pass on to you. And we're going to understand what Jesus was saying when he meant when he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. There was a process of gates that you had to go through before you got into the, the Holy of Holies, that final room. And you guessed that that first gate was called the way. It was the way into the presence of God. And then the second stage or the second gate was called the gate of truth. For there was, was the Bible, for there was the showbread and the candelabra. And then you went to the final stage, which was called, so you had the way, the truth, and then you had the gate of life. Because when you got to that gate, then the curtains would be open and the presence of God was there. So what was Jesus saying? He says, I am the access to the Father. There's no other way. You can follow other rabbis, you can follow other teachings, but the only way you're going to get to know the true God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, is if you follow me. Because I'm the way, I'm the truth, I'm the life. I'm, I know the Father. I can take you into His presence. May we all be ready to walk into His presence. I'm Joe Amaral.